Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make your own magnetic knitting chart holder. I've wanted one of these for a while because I'm always losing track of where I am in a chart or a pattern, so I thought I'd make one of my own. That way I can make one that perfectly suits me. I also think this would make a great DIY gift to give to any knitter. Okay, so what are you going to need to make this project? Well, the absolute minimum you're going to need is a clipboard, a magnetic sheet, an X-Acto knife and cutting mat, a metal ruler and some glue. On top of that, there are plenty of optional extras. For instance, if you want to decorate your clipboard, you might want some gesso or paint, a paintbrush, some PVA glue, some decorative papers and some contact paper. If you want to add some erasable notes to your clipboard, you might want to add a strip of dry erase or whiteboard sheet, plus a dry erase marker. And if you want to make the slider yourself, like I did, you'll need a strip of wood or metal that's 20 centimeters long, a couple of magnets, and something you can mold with your hands that then hardens. I personally used a 20 centimeter wooden ruler two tiny neodymium magnets that measure 10 by 5 by 3 millimetres, and some polymer clay, a ceramic tile or baking tray, an oven and a cutting blade. The alternative to making your own slider is just to use a ready-made metal ruler, as this will also stick to magnetic sheet. I just want to add a little safety notice about magnets here, because neodymium magnets are very strong and can be dangerous. So just make sure you keep them away from pets and small children and also make sure you don't let them smash together because they're brittle and can shatter. Right, so the first step is to decorate your clipboard and of course this step is optional. I just painted white gesso along the edge and also around the border on the front and the back. Basically, I was just covering any areas that weren't going to be covered with something else later on. Next, I cut out a sheet of decorative paper and decoupaged it onto the back of the clipboard. In other words, I just applied a thin layer of PVA glue all over the wood. Placed the paper on top and pressed it down all over. and then covered the paper with another thin layer of glue. The best kind of paper to use for this is something that's thin and absorbs the glue. You don't have to decoupage the clipboard of course, you can always add stickers to it, a photo collage, you can paint it, really anything you like, it's completely up to you. You then just leave this to dry. The next thing I did was cut out a page from a brochure by my favourite artist, Samantha French, and I glued it to the centre of the back. Once the glue was dry, I then added some blue washi tape around the outside edge. Lastly, I added a layer of clear contact paper over the top just to protect everything and I tried to make sure that I didn't trap any air bubbles underneath. I have to say this gave me very strong flashbacks to secondary school where I used to decorate all my files and folders exactly like this. Once you've added the contact paper, just turn your clipboard over and place it on a cutting mat. Then use your X-Acto knife to remove the excess papers around the outside. And that's the back of the clipboard completed. Then the next step is to glue the magnetic sheet to the front. You might need to use your X-Acto knife and ruler to cut down the magnetic sheet so that it fits on the front and then you just glue it in place. I personally used UHU all-purpose adhesive. If you don't want to make your own slider, or you don't want to use magnets, then now you can just use a ready-made metal ruler as the slider. 
As you can see, the steel ruler sticks very well to the magnetic sheet. So as you work your way through the knitting chart, you simply move the ruler up the chart, line by line, to keep track of where you are. The only problems with the small ruler are that it's a bit fiddly to remove from the surface and also it's a little bit short to use on a landscape chart. You could use a longer metal ruler instead like this but this is just a little bit too heavy and too long and it just gets in the way a bit. To make your own slider you can just get a 20cm strip of wood or metal and attach a magnet to each end. However, I wanted to make it a bit more stable, so I wanted to add feet to this slider and then embed the magnets into these feet. To make these feet from polymer clay, you first need to condition the clay. Conditioning the clay is simply where you're working it to warm it up and to make it more pliable. I personally use some magenta Fimo clay, but you could use any colour or brand. You then need to roll this clay out into a sheet that's one or two millimetres thicker than the magnets you're going to use. My sheet of clay was four or five millimetres thick. You then need to use a cutting blade to cut out two small rectangles, making sure that these rectangles are at least a few millimetres wider on each side than the magnets. And overall, make sure they're a bit narrower than whatever you're using for the slider. Then place one of the magnets onto a metal ruler and press it into the middle of each clay rectangle until the ruler touches the clay. Give it a little wiggle before removing it to make sure the magnets will easily fit into this hole later on. Make sure this clay is on something heat proof like a ceramic tile and then bake it in the oven, making sure to follow the instructions on the packet. Once the clay has cooled completely, just glue the magnets into these feet. Don't worry too much about making these pretty because they're mostly going to be hidden. The last two steps are to glue the feet onto the wooden ruler, like so. And then glue a strip of dry erase sheet onto the front. And that's it, the chart holder is now complete. As you can see, you can now use a dry erase marker pen to write notes onto the slider and then easily remove them. And that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.